welcome welcome to ai streets welcome to this amazing amazing uh class in this class i'm going to show you how to create consistent characters in chat gpt uh, here in chat gpt i'm in chat gpt 4 um you have four the paid version and you have three and a half the free version we are going to work in the paid version okay and then when we are here we're going to explore the GPTs right here. And here are the GPTs that the members uh, of ChatGPT have, have created. Uh, different GPT for different um, goals. Okay. But in here, we're going to search for consistent um, character. You see it's right here. If you can't find it, just type in consistent, consistent characters. And then hit enter and it will show up it's right here click on it okay and we're gonna open it and here it says everything here you your creative partner for generating characters in different poses expression styles and scenes no prompt needed just start with it. click here and follow the steps um let's click here to start okay it's asking us if if the character should be a male or female oh i'll choose a female right here female i hit enter and then it will ask to provide a name for the character i'll choose abby enter would you please share details about a character all this etc okay um age um six year old african-american girl her hair um two afro buffs with um two let me see two pink bows and then she has to have on a pink shirt jeans shorts overalls with sneakers sneakers let's say white sneakers okay white sneakers mm, country usa okay i have all that i have her age uh, what she is i have her race also i have her hairstyle afro puffs two pink bows in her hair a pink shirt jeans short overalls and white sneakers okay let's um create her okay it's also is ask us what style or team would you like here um, to pixel animation photography to the flat illustration anime pixel. i will go to pixel animation i love pixel movies pixel animation okay let's see it create our image for us oh she's cute okay i asked for two bows but it gives me one okay what would you like to vary in each image for example expression action and pose okay i have different um expressions that i want to do let's say i want to create like a children book a children's book um i'm going to do different expressions and different things so i'm going to sum them up right here down here um i'll write down um place with a puppy sit on a bench reading a book a book um she rides a bike rides a bike angry at a b and she's where she shrugs and where she's frustrated where she's silly and where she dances happily okay i'm going to run all these um different expressions 
and actions and polls here and let's see what we will get what should the first variation apply to the image what should be the first variation applied to the image oh she's still asking place with a puppy it's creating our image okay that's cute that is cute look at her eyes now i'll go back here i'll take all these copy them and then create different images where every well she does all this i'm gonna run it mm -hmm. so it's going to create all the different images for us because we asked for different images the first one is sit on a bench reading a book the second one we will be riding a bike mm -hmm. angry at a bee is coming let's ask if we need variations no angry at a bee shrugged and frustrated we need to do this still let's see if they if we had it okay i think it for god's sake we let's let's uh remind it copy i'll go back here create different images where abby shrugs okay create different images where paste it abby shrugs frustrated silly and dances happily expected to create all these three for us shrugs frustrated silly yeah all these four mm -hmm. frustrated mm -hmm. where she's being silly <laughs> she's cute i love her mm -hmm. where she let me see what is she doing here and here she is doing dances happily let me see yeah so we have all these images let's go back really quick um our image is this one this is what we gave it mm -hmm. let's go back here six year old african-american girl two afro puffs with two pink bows they gave us one pink shirt jean shorts overalls and white sneakers um yeah the sneakers are not white they are pink but the beauty is that they kept the pink going they kept the pink going here they put her white and they took the bang off but it's, it's still her you see that it's still her the app is not there yet you see that it's still her here she's still with the pink with the pink with the pink yes with the pink i love it i love it um i think i can go back if i want to and change this one here um asking for abby to ride a bike let me ask if it can give me a better one abby rides a bike if it can give me another one so everything will be like 80 90 percent the same oh it's giving me the same so it's not doing it's giving me the same look at that the same okay it doesn't want to uh, change anything okay let me show you something really quick that you can do with these images let me tell you first and then i'm gonna show you um with this uh consistent character gpt you can create action stickers especially if um if you have uh children who love doing certain things on certain days you can create a character like a character for them and then start with the actions like putting in the actions that they do and then you can um make stickers in canva print them out and cut them and give to them and every time they have uh, a certain thing on a certain day you can print it you can put it in their planner okay if you want to create a children's book about like for instance if i want to create a children's book about this girl of about all the activities that she does that she loves um i can use these images to do that okay if i want to do social media posts um for instance if i have like a faceless um um instagram post where i talk about this character is about abby where she does different things i can make a whole story about this girl and make an instagram for her where she does different things 
I can uh, I'll come in here and change her clothes and change her hairstyle and everything. And even if I don't, I can still go on and add more activities of her. Okay. Okay. If I want to create reels, I can also use these images and create reels about her. Um, like if I want to create like a, a faceless YouTube channel where I, where I do stories about her and where she's talking and all that, you know, I can put together like a, all these images and put a storyline about, about what she does in the background and load it up on YouTube. And so this character, like this guy with this character can do so many things. I can make a whole faceless YouTube channel, a faceless um, Instagram channel, faceless TikTok. You know, you can do so many things with it. Okay, let me go to Canva and show you really quick how to uh, change some things. Actually, you're not changing some things. You, Let's say remove backgrounds, okay? Let's say I, I'll download this one. I love this one where she's reading the book. I love this one too. Okay, I download them and then I'll go into Canva. I'll go into Canva, create a design. Let's say my design will be... Um, you can do what you want. I'm just going to choose something. 8.5 by 11 by 8.5 by 11. Right here. I'll upload her. Upload my file really quick. Okay, I'll take this one. Select it. Mm -hmm. Let's remove the background really quick. Remove the background. Okay, I have removed the background right here. I can go to here, the filters, and edit her color, make her a little bit lighter. I'll go to elements. Let me see if I can find park. Park. Mm -hmm. Something like here. Let's see if we can choose this one. So, and then we send it to the back. Okay, Abby is right here. You see, we can place Abby right here. Let's see, we can make it smaller. Let's go here. Let's see, we can erase. Okay. Erase it more. So you erase it really well. Let's go back. You can make it a little bit bigger. Make it here. And then you can place every here. So if it's a story you're doing, you can place every here in the story. She's sitting and reading a book here. And then you can build, you can build on your images, the images that you have created. You can build on them, like build on them and edit them until you are done with, um, with your children's books or your uh, social media posts or your uh, reels or whatever you want to do with um, the images that you've created. I hope that this, uh, short tutorial will help you to um, create uh, different cute things online and do know that you don't ha only have to do children you can do whatever image you want to but in this case i chose to do this little girl okay you can choose whatever image you want to if it's an airplane you're going to talk about or if it's an old lady or old man an african lady a hawaiian priest a, a a whatever you want to okay thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comment section if you're going to try this in chat gpt4 uh thank you so so much and have a great day bye